Welcome to Historical Highway, where we journey through the enigmas of space and time. Today, we're embarking on an extraordinary adventure, guided by the James Webb Space Telescope's latest breakthrough. This marvel of technology has glimpsed something baffling, a celestial marvel that questions the very timeline of the universe. Picture this, an object in space, so ancient, it seems to predate the stars themselves. This discovery has the scientific world abuzz, re-evaluating our understanding of the cosmos. Could it be that our theories about the Big Bang and the universe's inception are incomplete? As we delve into this cosmic mystery, remember, if you're enjoying this journey through the stars, consider subscribing to Historical Highway. Now, let's voyage into the unknown and unravel the secrets of this ancient celestial phenomenon. Imagine a star, HD 140283, commonly known as the Methuselah star, residing in the constellation Libra, about 190 light-years away. This star isn't just old, it's an anomaly. Dating back about 12 billion years, it witnessed the youthful days of our Milky Way, surviving the merger with a dwarf galaxy. Originally estimated to be 16 billion years old, revised calculations suggest it's slightly younger, around 1446 billion years. But here's the catch. Our universe is estimated to be about 13.8 billion years old. This star's age not only challenges our understanding of cosmic timelines, but also the accuracy of our dating methods. Now, let's talk about the James Webb Space Telescope, named after NASA's former administrator James E. Webb. This observatory is a giant leap in space exploration, designed to capture the oldest and most distant objects in infrared light. It's like having a window to the early universe. Understanding the age of celestial bodies like stars is a complex process. Their longevity makes dating challenging. Astronomers look at changes in brightness, color, and rotational speed. Techniques like gyrochronology and astroseismology help determine age by studying star rotations and internal vibrations. For Methuselah's star, its age was deduced from its neighborhood. Stars are categorized based on their metallicity. Our sun, rich in heavy elements, is a population one star. Methuselah, with fewer heavy elements, is a population two star indicating its ancient origins. In the cosmic history, population three stars were the first, massive and hot, converting hydrogen and helium into heavier elements. Their supernova seeded the universe with these elements, paving the way for population two and then population Y stars like our sun. Does this star's age contradict the Big Bang theory? with a 70% chance that Methuselah falls within the 1366 to 1536 billion year range. It's plausible it aligns with the universe's age, yet there's a chance it's older, challenging our cosmic understanding. But the intrigue doesn't stop there. Alternative theories propose different perspectives on the universe's age. For instance, the tired light theory suggests Photons lose energy over distance, potentially redshifting light and impacting our perception of time and space. The implications of these theories are vast, extending beyond the universe's age to the fundamental nature of cosmic evolution. They remind us of the complexities and mysteries of space, urging a cautious and thorough approach in scientific exploration. As we ponder these cosmic questions, Let's not forget the Milky Way. Gaia, a European Space Agency satellite, has been observing the motions of nearly two billion stars in our galaxy. Its findings challenge our understanding of dark matter, suggesting our galaxy might be less massive than previously thought. This revelation raises questions about the nature of dark matter and its role in the universe. It could mean a revision in our understanding or even alternative theories of gravity. The slowing down of stars at the Milky Way's outskirts further complicates this cosmic puzzle. As we journey deeper into the cosmic abyss with the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, 
we uncover more about this ancient celestial structure that has captivated our imagination. The JWST, a marvel of modern engineering and astrophysics, has provided us with a window into the past, revealing aspects of the universe we never thought possible to observe. Its ability to capture images in infrared light enables us to peer back in time, looking at objects and phenomena that occurred billions of years ago. The celestial structure in question, observed by JWST, is not just another star or galaxy. It's a massive, complex entity, a collection of stars and other materials that appear to have formed shortly after the Big Bang. This structure, existing in the early universe, challenges our understanding of how quickly complex structures could form after the universe's inception. To comprehend the significance of this discovery, let's delve into the formation of celestial structures. After the Big Bang, the universe was a hot, dense plasma of particles. As it expanded and cooled, the first atoms formed, and with them, the first stars and galaxies began to emerge. These early stars were massive, burning their fuel rapidly and dying in spectacular supernovae. The remnants of these stars helped to seed the formation of new stars and galaxies, leading to the complex structures we observe today. The discovery of a celestial structure dating back 13.8 billion years suggests that the process of star and galaxy formation occurred much more rapidly than previously thought. This challenges the current models of cosmic evolution and raises questions about the underlying physics that drove these processes. The Methuselah star, HD1140283, plays a pivotal role in this narrative. This star's composition and motion through space provide us with valuable clues about the early universe. Its low metallicity indicates that it was formed in an environment that had not yet been enriched by the supernovae of the first stars. This suggests that Methuselah is a second-generation star born from the remnants of the very first stars in the universe. As we explore the nature of the Methuselah star and the ancient celestial structure observed by JWST, we encounter the fascinating concept of stellar archaeology. This field of study involves examining the compositions, movements and ages of the oldest stars in the universe to reconstruct the history of the cosmos. By studying these ancient celestial bodies, astronomers can piece together the story of how the universe evolved, from a uniform soup of particles to the complex tapestry of galaxies, stars and planets we see today. One of the critical tools in stellar archaeology is spectroscopy. By analyzing the light from stars like Methuselah, astronomers can determine their compositions and ages. This involves looking at the absorption lines in a star's spectrum, which are unique fingerprints indicating the presence of different elements. By comparing these lines to models of stellar evolution, astronomers can estimate a star's age and its place in the cosmic timeline. The JWST's observations have also reignited interest in the tired light theory. This theory, proposed by Fritz Zwicky in the 1920s, suggests that photons lose energy as they travel through space, leading to a redshift in their wavelengths. This redshift is typically attributed to the expansion of the universe, but the tired light theory offers a different explanation. If this theory holds true, it could have profound implications for our understanding of the universe's expansion and age. As we consider these alternative theories and observations, we must also explore the role of dark matter in the formation and evolution of celestial structures. Dark matter, an elusive substance that does not emit or absorb light, is believed to make up a significant portion of the universe's mass. Its gravitational influence is thought to be critical in the formation of galaxies and large scale structures in the cosmos. The latest observations from the Gaia satellite have added a new twist to the dark matter puzzle. 
The slower-than-expected motion of stars at the Milky Way's outskirts suggests that our galaxy's dark matter halo might be less massive or differently distributed than previously thought. This challenges the standard model of cosmology, which relies on dark matter to explain the observed motions of galaxies and the large-scale structure of the universe. As we contemplate these mysteries, we must acknowledge the limitations of our current understanding. The universe is a vast and complex place, and our observations and theories are constantly evolving. Each new discovery, like that of the ancient celestial structure and the Methuselah star, brings new questions and challenges to our understanding of the cosmos. In conclusion, the journey through space and time is an ongoing adventure, filled with awe-inspiring discoveries and perplexing mysteries. As we continue to explore the universe with tools like the Jamis Webb Space Telescope and the Gaia Satellite, we can expect to uncover more about the nature of our cosmos and its origins. So, as we navigate through these cosmic revelations, stay tuned to Historical Highway for more fascinating insights into the universe's past, present, and future. Remember, if you're intrigued by the mysteries of space and the stories of ancient stars, make sure to like, subscribe, and join us on this incredible journey of cosmic exploration. Thank you for joining us on another episode of Beyond Discovery. Until next time, keep looking up and questioning the universe around us.